chapter 4.5 is on the inertial standard. What is the inertial standard? It is a basically a cylinder that has a mass of one kilogram stored somewhere in France. You should go check out this channel called Veritasium by Derek Miller. Uh, he has some videos on on this uh, inertial standard. Quite interesting. Okay, so why do we use the word inertia? So guys, what is the inertial standard? It's basically just a, a, a kilogram. That's, that's what it is. Okay? Uh, why do we use the word inertia rather than mass? Because the word inertia gives us a better understanding of what's going on, which is an object is resisting a change in its velocity. So we can use the word mass, but they choose to use the word inertia to give us a better understanding of what we're talking about. An object, if an object has a higher inertia, it has a higher resistance to change in velocity. Okay, so using the inertial standard, we can determine the inertia of any other object, the mass of any other object. How do we do that? We get that other, the unknown object, U, to collide with the inertial standard. Okay, we get them to collide. Then, what, then from our previous knowledge, what happens when they collide? Well, we have, we have delta V of the unknown and we have delta V of the standard. And we know <clears throat> that the inertial ratios of the unknown to the standard is the inverse of the change in velocity ratios, right? So the inertia of the unknown divided by the inertia of the standard is equal to the change in velocity of the standard divided by the change in velocity of the unknown. Okay? So this allows us then to calculate the inertia of the unknown quantity. Alright. Okay, see you in the next one.